that which we have handled, which we have seen with our eyes, rubbed against. This is the word of truth. We have not followed cunningly devised fables. Oh, yes. We were eyewitnesses of this thing. We walk in Bible, but we have seen the Lord. Our eyes have seen the Lord. I don't know about you. When you have become a supernatural Christian, God gets into you and starts walking himself. He no longer leads. He is now Ayakara. 100% true. true. I saw German written on your forehead like German. 10 October, yes, 1981. Better do it. You know me and you know everything. <laughs> if I be a prophet of God, miracle money now. Declare miracle money. There's 55,000 in his bank account. How much is this? Bob. This is 950 and I only had items. Yeah. Supernatural weight loss. Somebody who is sick can just be healed like that. This is the good news we preach. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction. And always worth hearing. <laughs> Glory be to God. Open your Bibles in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 8, verse number 1. You can take your seat. See, in fact, we'll read it up here. Are you here, somebody? Yes, Are you excited to be here? Yes. I'm excited to be in this place. Yes. See, this, this series on theosophy will change even the way you do business. Yes. Especially the one we are going to learn today. Yes. This is the wisdom for business. Yes. I'm talking about the wisdom that tells you... This deal might not be the right deal for you. This is the one we're dealing with right now. Look at what he says in chapter number 8. I'll read from verse number 1. Does not wisdom cry? Mm, I, I knew, I knew. It's always this side. What's this? Does not wisdom cry? And understanding put forth your voice. That is talking about Sophia. He says, Sophia has a voice. It is actually crying out to you to get it. When we're talking about getting Sophia, we're not talking about manufacturing it and getting inside you. We're talking about activating it. And I told you, Sophia is insight into reality. An ability to see what others can see. When Jesus says to Lazarus, come forth, there is a rock closing. For those that have been uh, to Israel with, you have seen the grave of Lazarus. It's a cave. Stones everywhere. We're talking about one big boulder of stone. you got to go up there with steps. And the man is standing outside and he's seeing a wall and he says, come out. What was he seeing there? He had an insight into reality. She standeth in the top of high places. By the way in places of the path. Are you getting it? She crieth at the gates. Uh -huh. Who is this one? Wisdom. Wisdom is crying at the gates. For you to activate it. Unto you, O man, I call. My voice is to the sons of men. Who is he directing this to? And this is wisdom talking. That I'm talking to you. I'm crying out to you. What's this? Oh, ye simple, understand wisdom. And ye fools, be of understanding heart. Herefore, I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. This is the reason why people are broke. This is the reason why business is never mature to any other level. It doesn't accumulate. Customers don't come to it. Why? You lack Sophia. Yes, it is inside there, but is it working? No. And the biggest problem with the church is you are ready to get deliverance. Pakazuba. Yeah. That's what you are here for. Yeah. If you can just lay hands on me like this. Yeah. We can lay hands on you until you become bold. Yeah. 
with no wisdom. Are you flowing? Are you here, somebody? Now watch this now. For I will speak of excellent things. Now, verse number seven. For my mouth shall speak truth, and the wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Let's go. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, and there is nothing forward or perverse in them. Wisdom is saying whatever is inside you that came in the package of salvation with Christ. When you received Christ, Sophia came packaged with him. So most things that you want to get right now, you already got. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen a dog chasing his own tail? The mind doesn't tell it, it's yours. I speak to somebody here. Your business is taking another form. I can approach you into greatness. Increase is yours. Prosperity is yours. Promotion is yours. In the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Now watch this. Are you there? They are all plain to him that understandeth. And write to them that find knowledge. Are you there? Receive my instruction. Hey! Wisdom is speaking. Receive my instruction. It's not God speaking. It's wisdom. Yes. It's wisdom talking. still here. Rejoice. Receive in my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. Now watch this. It says receive my instruction and not silver. It's not saying let your focus not be on silver. Be on wisdom and silver will come running. Money will come rushing to your account. Healing will come rushing to your body. Receive my instruction. And knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies. See, it's so surprising. 13 year old people, kids, are telling you, I just want to be a billionaire. That's nice. But then they don't want to go to school, no one to do nothing, don't want to go to college. Don't want to learn entrepreneurship. Don't want to learn nothing. Just give me a lumber. No what? No wisdom whatsoever. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I wisdom. Oh my God. Oh, I wish I had people here. Say, I wisdom. Now, we, we, you see, all this theosophy part one, theosophy part two, wisdom was not speaking. No. No. Uh, yeah. Now we find a verse where wisdom is talking. No. No. We're going to listen carefully because wisdom is now talking. No. I was talking to you about wisdom. No. Now wisdom is talking now. No. I don't know. I, I think I, I, I better be in... Um, in Spirit Embers, uh, Spirit Embers, Washington, D.C. might understand this one. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. Find out knowledge of witty inventions. If I can only invent something, if I can only think of something that nobody has ever thought, if I can only, you never do it by saying it. You got to dwell among people of intelligence that tune in the same frequency with you. The first miracle Jesus performed was not changing water into wine. It was raising the dead. The Bible says Elizabeth had a child six months old and she had never moved in a womb. 
as a man called John the Baptist. And the Bible says when Mary arrived, the baby inside Elizabeth lived. In six months, the baby is already moving. So there is no reason for you to say there is a sign unless the baby wasn't moving. Be around people who make your baby leap. I said, be around people that make your, your desire, your, your, your vision, your vision active. You know, if I talk to this guy, if I talk to that one, if I talk to this one, I, I, I leave there thinking I can be a billionaire any day, any minute. Say it out. Are we talking? I wisdom dwelling with prison. Say it. The fear of the Lord is to end evil, pride. Why is it giving you pride after evil? Because pride is the biggest evil. Do you know why the devil was removed from heaven? Pride. He said, I will go up and be like the most high. Whenever you no longer be able to notice the differences in rank, pride has caught you bad. The Lord said, this is the way. You say, uh, I will get there, but I will go. Have you ever gone with your husband and you are in a car and your husband is looking for directions? You know, husbands never, men don't ask for directions. You can tell them, go this way. This is the way. They say, no, 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 I know my way. <laughs> Last week we were here. <sighs> then they go like this, like, ah. the house was here. <laughs> Who moved it? <laughs> Are you flowing? <laughs> the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogance. The word, the prince of darkness, referring to the devil. The word prince is, means first to be. The word darkness the, in the Hebrew is actually ignorance. So he's the first to be ignorant. In other words, he was so ignorant, he thought he could actually take God on. And God never stood from his throne. Just sat there like this. And the guy was falling. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing? The fear of the Lord is to hate evil pride, arrogance, and the evil way, the forward mouth. Do I hate? Are you here? Counsel is mine. And sound wisdom. He is wisdom talking. He said, counsel is mine. And sound wisdom. The top, the cream de la cream of wisdom is mine too. I am understanding. Oh, oh. I have strength. Who is talking, guys? Who is talking? That's Sophia talking. Say Sophia talking. Sophia. 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 By me kings rule. Ah. I want to be a president of this country. Sophia. Yes. I want to be a politician. Sophia. Sophia first. Your problem is you want angel to lay hands on you. To become president. Flowing or you just left? It's going to be hot in a few seconds. So wisdom is speaking. Let's hear wisdom. By me, kings rule. Do you want to be a king? Do you want to be a president? Some people say, how can I be a king? I can never be a king. Do you know the, the key queen right now in Britain is not supposed to be the queen? Her family line stole it from someone. Do you understand that the Windsor, the name's Windsor, is just a cover. It's not the surname. It's not some conspiracy theory. This is fact. Because I, I, can, I can hear someone like, yeah, but it's conspiracy. No! Fact. What do, you think? what do you think you see Harry wearing a shawl sticker? What do you think he is doing? You think they're from Britain? 
check their history. But imagine that it's the World War I for it to start. People don't know. It's three brothers in the Queen's family that fought each other. That's it. One family. The whole world spins into war. One in another country is ruling in another country, another country, and the whole thing happens. In fact, they actually, one person actually in the royal family made a joke and said, if Queen so and so was alive, she would have just told you boys to shut up and the world would not have ended into a world war. One family. <laughs> you understand? Are you here, somebody? So they tracked everything, everything, everything. But you see, it says here, by me kings reign. You know, the, the, when they are tracing the kingdom, right? Uh -huh. They were doing it with, you, you can't say I'm a king, and then you have uh, another wife who is, not from the, who is not the main wife, yes. all right? As they call that in, um, in, in Zambia, ATM, assistant to madam. <laughs> Are you getting it now? Yes, so, now you cannot have that producing a child who then produces children who will become king or queen. That's exactly what happened with the royal family. It's not from there. But why? God knew the King James Version Bible will come from this ATM. I didn't get it. The right order wasn't bringing nothing. Yeah. And he said, I'll use that one. Yeah. 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 By me, kings will rule. Yes. So the queen is well anointed by God to rule by wisdom. Yeah. You can be the right one to be king, but the one with wisdom will take away from you. Yes. Yes. So have, you have you not... So he's seen people come here and say, I was just, I was the one supposed to be promoted, then my friend. What happened? Sophia Dololo. Sophia is not in there. Princes decree justice. Let's go. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. You mean judges in America sitting right now in Britain, sitting right now in Africa, sitting right Australia, New Zealand. You claim you the one who... Mm -hmm. yes. Hey. Oh, yes. I just want to be a judge, man of God. I just want to be a judge. I want to be a... a I want to rule something. I, just, I, I know I'm meant to rule. My business is meant to control everything. I'm, I'm meant to dominate. It's not prayer. Imagine if this was prayer. Africa will be the richest on earth. You've never seen us pray in Africa. Ah! God is like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Wisdom. Do you understand Britain is a small country? Control the whole earth. I don't think the people who were colonized knew the actual size of Britain on the map. Imagine you're in America, the whole of America, you're looking at the map like this one, controlling this one. Hey, what happened here? Do you understand Australia is a country of thieves? It's convicts from Britain that were sent to Australia and started that country. A whole country from Britain here. Yeah. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? How big Africa is? You don't control no one. He 
it's not because they have more guns than you. They discovered. Do you understand? 71 of the economy in Britain, 71% is based on the gift of gab. Talking. No, they didn't know that. Oh, you thought they had minds. Where? They would just say consultation. Consult us. An African country say we are in trouble. Say consult us. Come over. We will write a constitution for you. Yet Britain doesn't have a constitution. Oh, you didn't know that, right? If you raise your head like this, they say, wait, 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 wait. We, um, we are putting something there to control your resources because we, they are going out of hand. What do you mean? Just a few years ago, they bought gold from Africa like crazy. Yes. Yes. Bought gold and put it in reserves and waited. Right. When countries that were really under them started actually uh, uh, revolting in, in their way of doing things, do you know what Britain said? Said, now I use, you are allowed to sell your gold now. They put the gold on the market and Britain said, we, but we also have gold and lowered it, the value. They can lose billions just to make you suffer. Wisdom. I told you before, countries are simply big companies. <laughs> They're just big companies. So you can't blame them. Oh, they are, they are taking advantage of us. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Are you getting it? When you have wisdom, it can, be, it can be worldly wisdom we're talking about here. But imagine the wisdom we have. And I hope you're flowing with me. Let's go. Let's go. I love them that love me. Who is this speaking? What is Sophia? Wisdom. What is wisdom? Sophia. Sophia is insight into reality. I love those who love me. And those that seek me, what? 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 Early. Someone came here today. Men of God should just move around, prophesy, call my name out. Do you know your name? Do you know the address you came you come from today? So what's so shocking? I come and say, yeah, you live at number 15. I go, oh. man of God. <laughs> That is very true. Hey! I've never seen anything like this. Your mother is married. Oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Did you know your mother before you came here? What do you need is wisdom. We can give you prophecy and prophecy and prophecy. And we will prophesy today. But we'll give you prophecy and prophesy like that. But you need that. Love them that love me. Eh? And those that seek me early shall what? Shall find me. So it's only for those that seek him early that find him. Those that seek him late will not find him. Logged it with Sophia. But they can't activate Sophia. They are everywhere. I told you before you'll be doing that. Uh, what was the name of that? Uh, Say, so I will be a billionaire. You are joking. Nonsense. Who oh, is Friday? Party. Do you think inside of that bottle, that Stellatwa bottle, there is wisdom? After you drink it, you don't know your path, you'll be like, it'll be there, right? <laughs> Looking for your own, you know this is the path, but you, your, your leg is like, go that way. <laughs> Say, I'm Sophia. Hey! You are joking. <laughs> hey, wasn't a drunkard person? They know the road. They can see. This is it. But the legs will not go there. Like... <laughs> 
And someone said, oh, are you okay? I am Sophia. <laughs> so easy to be rich. Anything that is sinner can get, we can get easier. Amen. So easy to be rich. Now watch this now. Riches and honor are with me. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness and in the midst of the path of judgment, that I may cause that, that love me to inherit what? Substance. Those that may activate wisdom, they inherit substance. Why don't you have substance in your bank account? No wisdom. No Sophia. So the world is using worldly wisdom and getting rich. The church is trying to use deliverance. And deliverance, if we give attention to the devil, he likes it. Yes. You will see when I start prophesying. If I say, now prophetic time, I'm moving like this. Immediately you hear some sound somewhere. Ah! Yeah, screaming. And you wonder what's happening. The demons are saying, come, in, come here. Don't go where you want to prophesy. We know what you want to do there. Is to bring somebody out of problem. So come and talk to me. You go there, you say, out. Yes, I'm going out now. Uh -uh. Why do you need to talk to me? Just go out. Demons like attention. There are some people who will just call you to just say, how are you? How is, what is the weather the, in Britain? It's always cold, okay? <laughs> what do you want to, what, what you're going to, uh, do you work for the weather report? If I say it's cold, what are you going to do? I'm buying a jacket? Never. It's just, uh, how are you? Yes. It's cold. Hey, Britain. So, and, and the children. Ah, they're good. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Yes. How is work? Oh. Do you work for the censors? It's a nonsensical kind of lifestyle. Where people who are empty are in your mobile phone every day. On your mobile phone like this. You look. If you just go like this, okay, take out your phones. Please, go to contacts. Help yourself. I know you're not doing it. Some of you are ushers. I'm like, no, I'm just ushering. You are a church member. Go to your phone. I don't know whether you can go to contacts. You can go to contacts, right? Please, on your contacts. Don't read it out, okay? Look at the first name. Do you see that name? Ask yourself, when did this person give me money? Go to second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Now. Eighth. Nine. Ten. I know you have 700 names, so go back to the first one. Now ask yourself, when have they caused their trouble for me? That's when you know. Number one, you will know definitely no money came from there. Number two, you will know the first one, that's the first one, caused me a problem one day. That tells you their duty in your life is problems. But you like them for talking nonsense. Let's go. That I may cause those that love me to inherit what? Substance. And I'll fill their treasures. Sophia is the one talking that my duty is to fill your treasures. I'll fill your bank. When you got wisdom, I will fill your bank. Let's go. The Lord, watch this now. Watch what wisdom claims. This is an extraordinary claim by wisdom. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his own way. Ah. Look at wisdom talking, boasting. Said even God possessed me in the beginning of his ways. <laughs> hey! It's no longer talking about the earth now. Says before the earth was. 
the Lord, in order to operate wisely, he needed me. No. Ah! Yes. So, Sophia yes. is the wisdom that created the world. Yeah. And you got it with you. You got it right there with you. You have it right there. The wisdom that created the world. Sophia. Before his works of old, he had to possess me. So what he's talking about is there is a time the world was created. But before the world was created, God created Sophia. In order to make Sophia operate for him. Are you, are you, are you flowing with me now? Are you flowing with me, somebody? I wish I had people here who understood. All around the world. This is wisdom talking. The Lord possessed me wisdom. In the beginning of his way. Before his works of old. I was there with him. The ancient one needed me. Wisdom is boasting. You see how foolishness will not work. You see how when you have that, poverty is not necessary. It's unnecessary. Why should you be broke? Poverty is not necessary. To news. I'm more up to date than tomorrow's newspaper. Just, just yesterday, I was in my room like this, sitting with Benjamin Netanyahu. In the spirit. Talking about the elections. So I already know who is winning. I was set up from, the, from everlasting. In other words, I've been in existence from eternity. There is no time I was in existence from eternity. And from the beginning, and then when he began something, I was there. And even the earth, when there was no depth, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water. He's talking about verse number two of Genesis. Yes. 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 Says I was there before that verse. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was brought forth, I was there. Who is this? I don't think you, you like it, so I'll, I'll move on. Mm-hmm. Let's go. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. Watch this. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, I was there. Wisdom is claiming some bold claims. Making some bold claims, wisdom. The Lord needed me. Had to possess me before he started this thing. Even his old ways. Before you came to being, God needed wisdom. You, you need deliverance. That's why I always say to you, the biggest, highest level of deliverance is not demons coming out. Do demons come out? Yes! Jesus said, cast out demons. I send you in the whole the world and preach this gospel and deliver people from demons. It's already there. We will cast out demons. It's good. But the highest level of deliverance is when your ignorance is confronted. Somebody's like, wow. So I came to this church. I thought they said it was a prophetic church. That's foolishness talking. This is a word church. Let's go. When he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the founders of the deep, we are going to read. Please, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, neighbor, tell your heart. We are still in Proverbs. When he gave to the seas decree that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, I was what? Then I was by him. And there's one brought up with him. Hey! You see, you see, you people, you didn't hear what the guy is saying. 
He's saying we grew up together with the Lord. <laughs> hey! Hey! You know the Lord was never a toddler or a whatever, never, because there's no time. All right? If you have ever done physics, you have learned a thing called uh, the theory of relativity by Albert Einstein. Are you flowing with me? Yeah, the way these guys look. <laughs> like, like, stick to the Bible, please. Let me go to my... Look at, look at, look at that. Look at this. Look at the intelligent people. Look at how they... This is Sophia, this is Sophia. What is this, what is this? Uh, sit down, sit down. <laughs> so the theory of relativity, Albert Einstein coming out of his office as a clerk is moving somewhere and he got into a train and it dawned on him. Time reduces whenever there is motion. In other words, when simpler terms, okay? Simpler terms. 1971, they did the experiment. They took a jet and put an atomic watch there to measure time. And they said it at the same time with the one that was on the ground. And this one went around the world. And when they measured at the same time the clocks again, it had lost seconds. It was very tiny difference. Hundred of, hundred billions, fraction of a second. But they realized one thing. When you are inside something that's moving time goes down yeah. it reduces hello yes. so it simply means one thing when you get into something faster time what reduces stand there so i we we calculate this for some of you that don't watch anything we do he is in london oh no you become an alien <laughs> He is an alien in Pluto. And I'm on Earth at this time right now. And he knows the time, and he knows the time is the same. And we are in one line, billions of miles away, okay? Are you getting it now? Yes. Are you flowing? Yes. Now, when we are like this, aligned like this, and we set our time at the same time, that means the time is the same. It's Tuesday at the same time. It's morning. Are you getting it? Yes. But when he turns around, and moves four steps like that in motion. Guess what happens? His time is now different to mine. Why? Because he's in motion. Are you getting it now? Yes. That means it's no longer 12 for him. It's now 10. And mine is 12. So when he turns around, after he gets today, he turns around. Guess what he now sees on earth? 1940. And 1940 is still happening for him. Maybe they, they, they missed the point. You stand, stand there. So he is now in alignment to a year that to me is past. But if a person is observing all of us, he knows exactly that past is current. Are you flowing? It's just a small physics. Please don't look like that. <laughs> don't betray your, your lack of physics, please. Now, if he decides to move towards me, right? Come and stand here. Now, instead of 2019, he is now seeing 2040. Mm. So he's able to see the future and the past and the present based on his speed. Wow. Wow. Are you getting it? This is what they call theory of relativity. Motion changes time. Are you getting it now? Now if you stand like that, now you understand what it is that takes a prophet to prophesy the future. That means in the spirit, I'm able to move towards you without you knowing it. And get to 2025 and see you as a billionaire. Watch this now. But when I... But when I see you as a billionaire, what happens is I describe and I'm shocked. That's why I always say to people, why are you not responding? Because to me, I'm not seeing 2025. I'm actually standing there. 
next to your Maserati garage. Yeah. 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 So I look at you telling you you are going to have Maserati, you are going to have a jet, you are going to, and you are looking at me like, yeah, hallelujah, amen. And I'm thinking, nigga, please. Oh, honestly, I'm looking at you thinking, what on earth? Can you not just say hallelujah something? Do something, break a leg or do whatever. I see you prospering. Uh, yes, 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 man of God. Oh. I have to speak it as if it's future for you, not because of me. As for me, my language is current. Well, sit down. So, so what Albert Einstein realized was time is in slices. It's in packages that I want to call quantum time or quantum event. It's like this. So they are all existing all at once. Yes. But when you are in this frame, yes. people can die. And then you think they are dead. No. Whereas they now exist in this frame yes. that you call the past. Yes. But that frame is still alive. Yes. So he said future, past, and present are the same. That's why he called time an illusion. You look at this time now? You see this time? Yeah. How come this time is this time? Yet in New Zealand, it's different time. So the world doesn't have one time. They have times. But while they have times, they don't know what time is. They measure time. But nobody has seen time. Yes. Yeah. Sit down. Are you flowing now? So nobody has seen what? Do you know Esther was 85 years old when she got married to the king? Yeah. yeah. I know you never read that part, right? Yes, because it's not mentioned in that way. It says in the third year of King Ahasuerus' reign. Then you calculate, you go into history and realize, oh, it's this one. Then you look at the captivity. You look, ah, it's about 113 years from the captivity to the third year of King Ahasuerus. 113 to 115 years. Now, we know Esther came from and they were captured there. And from the day she was captured to the day of marriage, they're 113 years. So she should be 113. Then we just make some deductions and try to say, eh, let's just give her 85 years. She's in there like this. And the young queen is like, oh, mamma mia. Oh, yeah. Granny looking beautiful. Because uh -huh. when you get in the realm of the spirit, with Sophia loaded inside you, there is a, you, you begin to understand some few things that no more people don't understand. You don't use this kind of lotion you are using. You now know there is a spiritual lotion we can use. The king's children are the ones who went to the king and said, come see a little girl here. There is a girl coming down the street, papa. Hey. Hey. An old lady. Why? Insight into reality. They got a hold of it. And they realize there's something beyond that can make my body to remain like this. Some people are 40. You look at them, you like, well, how old is this one? Like, I'm at 70. <laughs> you are trying to keep your body like you are on earth. Do like a Christian. Let people know how you flow. That's not part of this thing. Let's go. Then I was with him. As one brought up with him. And I was daily his delight. Jesus. Rejoicing always before him. I did not say they grew up together in the sense that you're talking about. We're talking about when God wanted to create everything. Right there, wisdom came up. 
in verse 2, you understand that this. It says, in the spirit of the Lord, Rahaft flattered on top of the deep. And the word Rahaf means to flatter in constant imagination of an outcome. Using what? Sophia. Sophia. Sophia was deciding where to put the tree, where to put whatever. Where to put. You, you just go like, yes, I want a car. Do you know where you're going to park it? Yeah, yeah, that is a good question. <laughs> How are you going to service it? Yeah, you, you, yeah, do you see? You know, these are some of these things. Thank you. You are helping us. Some of these things we never thought of. Listen, Rahaf, brother, begin to think right now. Where am I going to park my car? Where am I going to live? What house? What kind of swimming pool? Where is it going? Wait, 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 wait. In constant imagination of an outcome, using Sophia to decide. You just come to church like a zombie, like, yeah. Men of God, I want a house. Where? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. People who are ready, they already know the location. In fact, they have photos on their phone like this. This is the type I like. This is the venue I like. This is the area I live in. This is what I'm looking for. Why? They are in constant imagination of an outcome. Because of Sophia. Yes. Yes. Yes, Sit down. When I met my wife, first day, yes. I just told her, right there. Yes. So the, here is, if you say you love me right now, uh -huh. I'm going to tell you where we're going to stay. Ah, when she said yes, I had it. I moved with every plan here. Uh -huh. yeah. hey. da, da, da. She had already agreed. It's all us. Let's, let's move. <laughs> this is our house. The house we live in right now, almost the same thing with what I drew. What was happening? I knew what I wanted to see. I knew what I wanted to see. But some of you are moving just like you have no wisdom. You just move. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Someone asks you that when you start thinking. Ah, yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> if the man says, I love you, don't just be like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to ask some few questions. The Bible says, and Adam was alone. Yes. Alone at something. The men should have a vision of where we are going. You can't just marry somebody. Before you know it, you are sleeping in the streets. So, you love me, okay? <laughs> yes. We'll see you next week. Ah. Huh? See you next way. Who is this one? Who, what is he? Where does he come from? Who are his parents? Who is his mentor? Who is feeding his spirit? What is he aspiring to be? Before you know it, you start asking. So what were you? What are you thinking we should do? Ah, you, the man asking me. I was thinking I came to be a help meet. Now you are trying to become my help meet. Marry a man with a vision. I knew the ladies would never understand. All they are looking for is marriage, marriage. Woo! You get married to a fool, he will beat you up every day. Then you start coming here for deliverance. Look at Jacob. The guy married in the dark. In the room like this, just got in the room like this. Laban said, yeah. Say, are you there in there? He said, yes, I'm here. Say, say, yeah, your wife, you have worked for seven years. We have her here. Okay, okay, put her in. Boom. He did all the business he needed to do. No problem. Woke up in the morning like, ah, Where's Russia? Hey. I can imagine the guy came out like, Laban, where, where is my wife? Like, Laban is like, I need seven more years for this one. 
and he went to 20 years. He led Sophia at diversion. How on earth? Let me tell you something. This is a secret, please. Young people, the ladies. My wife moves out there, walks there, and I'm standing here. Even the stiletto, the way she steps, I can tell you that's her. You can try to put skistin women copying her. I'll tell you, mm -mm, she missed the step, this one. This is not the right one. How much more? A woman you have seen for seven years. You know her body. Just even without touching it, you know it. And they give you at night, and you can't tell something is different. This hand is not exactly the way I saw it out there. Wisdom. And who stopped you from light, putting a light on? <laughs> who stopped you? Just put the light on, light. Mm. Ah, no, you're not the one. I'm going home now. <laughs> He married in the dark. And that's the biggest problem of our Christians today. They marry in the dark. And they wake up, they say, hey, man of God, my marriage is not working. Ah, uh -uh. you married in the dark. No, Sophia. Didn't think with your mind. Just like, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, love, but thank you. Close the tent, please. And I guess I'm telling you, Leah knew exactly what was happening. And Leah never spoke the whole night. Yeah. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you happy to be here? <laughs> she knew if she spoke. Hey. Ah, the girl, hey, hey, who are you? Married in the dark. Why? Lack of Sophia. No wisdom. Rejoicing in the habitable uh, part of the earth. And my delights were with the sons of men. He is telling you that before the sons of men were even came, I knew they were coming. I was part of their manufacturing ideas. We were together talking about this. About how they are coming. And I delighted that the sons of men are coming. Wisdom. Because he knew one thing. He knew he was going to be in the sons of men. Then the sons of men are walking without it. It's craziness. That Christians are the people with the, 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 the reality that created the world. But yet, we don't use one ounce of it. You get in trouble, prayer. You want to get a job, prayer. You want to get promotion, prayer. You want to pass exam, prayer. You are in trouble. It's prayer, everything. Prayer, 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 prayer. Am I refusing prayer? No. There are things that don't need prayer. The Bible itself says, study to show thyself approved. A man who needs not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. The word is mathematics. Amen. You got to study it. But you want deliverance. You want prophecy. Mm -hmm. Let him just heal me now. Man of God, you prayed for me, but I have not healed yet. Huh? The prophecy you gave me last week hasn't happened. Now therefore hearken unto me. Hearken to who? Who is who? Who is me here? Sophia. All oh, ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise. And refuse it not. The reason why you are broke, you refused wisdom. How do I take wisdom from a fool? 
You have five friends that are all broke. They're the ones instructing you. Yeah, we're going to create a business. Eh? We're going to make money like crazy. You will see. Ask them, um, have you ever made money? How do we know we're going to make money? Which principles are we using? Whose wisdom are we using? Turn to your neighbor say, neighbor. If you have four broke friends, you will definitely be the fifth. Oh, without fail. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting for the post of my doors. Are you hearing? 235. 35 and 36. Read it. No, 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 no. All they that what? What do they love? What do people, why do people die young? Lack of activation of Sophia. All that hate me, they love death. If you hate Sophia, how do you hate Sophia? You do the things I've been telling you about. Connect with the people that matter. Oh, yes. Don't be in a church just for the men of God to lay hands on you. Mm. Let him prophesy. Since you have been to all night prayers. What changed? Every day you're still broke. You're still waiting for your friend's car to take you home. You're still using bus number 263. How many deliverance sessions have you attended? Several. How many miracle water, anointed water have you drank? Too many. You nearly drowned in them. Wisdom. And you're hearing from a man who performs miracles. Uh huh. From the what is, uh, I'll say, without argument, the good father of the modern day prophetic movement. No argument. And I'm telling you, use wisdom. Are you, are you hearing me? So we have a problem in the church. Pray for me. This one now. You see now, my business is not working. How can you not just use wisdom to get customers? This created the whole world. <laughs> Colossians 2. Colossians 2. Verse number 2. Are you here, somebody? We are about to go to the, to the one we came here for, the actual wisdom we came here for. Remember, we have what is called theoretical wisdom. is Sophia. It means it's inside you. It's inherent. It came with Jesus, but it won't do anything until you use it. So practical wisdom is phronesis. And we told you phronesis is a mindset. Are you here? It is a what? A mindset. Do you, how, anyone remembers what uh, we say the mindset is? Uh -huh. mental disposition. A fixed mental disposition that predetermines a person's responses and uh -huh. interpretation of situations. A fixed mental disposition that predetermines a person's responses and interpretation of situations. Phronesis. You have a way of doing things. They know you do it this way. They know. I can never speak the word broke. I can't. If I, if I speak broke, it's because I'm talking to you and teaching you not to be broke. But in my household, nobody says broke. I last yet it way, way back. Broke. Who? Where? broke never had it and never had the chance 
or the privilege to talk about broke. Never. We don't talk broke. Are you here? Yes, sir. Let's go. Parazukumia. Verse number two, and I want us to all read verse number two. That they are hearts, lest everyone, including the world, is in the balcony and at the back there. Let's go. That their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ. What is the last one? Is what? And of what? Why is it not saying end of Jesus? Every time you see Christ, the word Christ means the anointing and is anointed. It actually means the church and Jesus. So whenever you see Christ is specifically trying to tell you the church is directly involved. That's why you have Christ, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ. And I'll explain that in another teaching on how you interpret those so it's not these guys just decided today I'm going to start with Jesus and to go with Christ. Tomorrow I'll just put Christ like they are synonyms. No, that's not what he's trying to do. So we are talking about what? But we're talking about Christ, right? You see Christ there? Right? Let's go. In whom are I hid, are apocryphas, all the hidden wisdom, and the word treasures there is the word thesaurus. It's different from the word dictionary. Dictionary gives you meanings. Thesaurus gives you synonyms and there are better ways of understanding the same word. Are you getting it? And groups of words that explain the same thing. Are you getting it now? Are you flowing with me? Let me see your hand if you're flowing. Because I know you guys, you're waiting for me to jump up and down and, and sweat and... Nah. We're a church of class. In whom I hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Are you here? You're flowing. That is where we are talking about what? Sophia. In whom I hid all the treasures of Sophia. Of insight into reality. And ability to see, to see, to see, to see, to see, to see, to experience, to know. There are things other people can't see in a, in a thing. They just can't see. And you see better. Are you flowing? I'm going to be quick on this one. Daniel 5. Daniel 5. Paragazuguzi. Engabola gadugustayaka. Verse number 12. So, so are you here? Are you here? Sophia is also called an excellent spirit. When your spirit is at a level of excellency, that's Sophia. Are you here, somebody here? That's Sophia. Now watch this. Let's read it together. For as much as an excellent spirit, as much as Sophia, and knowledge, and understanding, interpreting of dreams, and showing of heart sentences, and dissolving of doubts, were found in Daniel. This is our ministry. We are bigger than Daniel. But watch this. Watch what this is saying. Saying dissolving of doubts. Explaining hard sentences. That's what we do here. Explaining the verses you think are difficult. We're like, ah, 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 it means this. We're like, ah, that's what I was missing. That's it. Daniel had Sophia to explain hard sentences. Are you getting it now? Are you flowing or have gone home? 1 Corinthians 1. If you grew up in a church that didn't open the Bible, you will grow blisters here. If blisters were not a disease, you would have grown them. Are you flowing? Are you flowing with me? Are you flowing with me? Verse number 30. Verse number 30 of 1 Corinthians Chapter, uh, chapter number one, verse number 30, and then we go to the one we want after that. Are you getting it now? Yes, but of him, are ye what? In Christ. In Christ Jesus, 
War of God is made unto us. So fear and righteousness and sanctification and redemption is made what? So fear. So Christ has been made our wisdom. So when wisdom is saying I was with Jesus, with God in the beginning, I grew up with him, I came up with him. Who is talking? Jesus! Are you flowing now? Are you flowing now? Now you can go to Proverbs 8 and realize wisdom is actually Jesus. Oh, you're flowing that, right? Now he says, for Jesus is made our Sophia. Have you received Jesus? 100% you got Sophia. You go back to the word. And Jesus is what? The word. Sit down. See, only people who, who have spirits that are active can be like, mm, I understand this. The ones who are just here for a miracle, they are waiting. Miracle money in your bank. Hallelujah. That's our chance. Our opportunity has arrived. Hey. That's why my man of God has decreed something there. Where people come to church and they just go to church like this. Say, how was church today? They say, ay, 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 ay. Yeah. Today, yeah. Oh, we danced. I sweated and sweated, dancing. The music. Oh, oh, oh. So church is over for you? <laughs> yeah, nice. Next week you're coming again. We want to show them how we dance in front. You see. That's what they come to church for. Dancing. Church is done. So I, did you grow? I danced. <laughs> feel sorry for you. The man of God was prophesying like nothing from corner to corner. <laughs> so church is done. Yeah. Did you hear any word? No, 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 no. Listen. When the man of God is prophesying. Ah. We have no time for that. Until I realize these people don't have the word. And they can go there with what I call the word. But this word is to encourage the word in them. Prophecy raises your faith. Yes. Rejuvenate the other word you have already. Yes. In order to obtain what you want to get. That's why we have people who have gotten prophecies that are sharp and never received that testimony. Wow. They wonder why. You have no word in you. Wow. The word is the one that produces the miracle. Not the prophecy. Not the anointing oil. If there is a special time in service, it's worship and the word. Have you noticed that I can call somebody and tell them your name is this, your uncle's yes. name is this? I can even read yes. your mother's uh, whatever on the, on the grave. I can read the, the tombstone, yeah. read everything, say everything. You have seen it here, everything to, the, to, to what is in your phone. To even saying somebody called, this is about to call. Put your phone like this and the person calls. Now! And so what? Okay, the guy calls, like, wow, look, man of God, it's happening. He's calling right now. <laughs> then you go home, no miracle has happened. And you wonder, why? 20 billion times zero? zero. If your brain is zero, even if we put 20 billion of anointing, you will still produce zero. zero. Ephesians chapter number three. Ephesians. Ephesians. If you're looking for Ephesians, just know that it is near the book of Genesis. <laughs> Ephesians is one of the disciples of Jesus Christ. He was called Ephesians. Very, very close to Peter. And if you find it there, you need deliverance from your stupidity. <laughs> Ephesians chapter number 3 Are you here? Verse number 1 For this cause Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. For this cause I pull the prison of Jesus Christ For you Gentiles Are you there? Yes. 
if you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given where? Me. To who? Me. To you. Read it. Of grace of God, which is given to me, to you. How that? Mm -hmm. By revelation. Whereby when you read, huh? You may understand my knowledge. Hello, Mazasu. Let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. I want you to go to verse number four so that we, we see something. Whereby, are you hearing this? Whereby, when you what? When you read, you may understand my knowledge. In the mystery of Christ, the word knowledge there is an English mistranslation. It doesn't really mean knowledge. It is the word that is called sunesis. Sunesis, S-U-N-E-S-I-S. So you have what? What do you call the first one? Sophia. The second one? Phronesis. And Sophia is theoretical wisdom. Phronesis is practical wisdom. Then we have sunesis. It means critical wisdom. Are you, are you with me? Are you here somebody? Critical wisdom. <laughs> so let's read it again. Wherefore when you read, ye may understand my sunesis. My quickness of apprehension. Quickness of understanding. Quickness to join concepts together and know their differences. I don't know if you are, I don't know if they are flowing with me. Are you flowing with me? Yes. Listen to you. Just, listen, listen. Just because I have a mindset doesn't mean to say I will execute my mindset quick enough. Uh, do you understand that your slowness can be your phronesis? We already know you will respond slowly. It's the phronesis in being fast. So you need something that is not really the third one. It's the an in-between connector between Sophia and phronesis. It stands in between to try to give you quickness in apprehension. Oh my God. Oh, I wish I, 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 wish, I, wish I was in a Zimbabwean church right now. I wish I was in Washington, D.C. right now. They could understand better than you guys. Are you here, somebody? Yes. So there is Sophia, which is, which is insight into reality. You know other things that people don't know. Phronesis. From your Sophia, you bring out phronesis in action. Practical. That's the thing you use. But how quick you are to understand concepts. Is now called sunesis. Uh, uh, I don't know who filmed that near accident when I was flying. Imagine I'm on, on I'm, I'm flying, uh, for those who don't know, I fly helicopters. Now, so I'm, I'm in an R2 to flying, and we lift off in Nottingham, and the, you know, and, and, and this. And, and I'm sitting in there, I'm maneuvering the helicopter for us to leave the, the aerodrome, so to speak, which, is, which has got helipads and, and small planes. And as I went up like this, the, the guy I was with said, okay, now we can, we can go. And I'm speeding. And then something just happened. I maneuvered it immediately. Wrong direction from where you're saying we should go. Went back straight to the, to the best. And the guy's like, no, we need to go there. I said, no, there is, I, I, I just know there is something happening. 
He's like, what do you mean? We go like that. You need to do it. I said, we are turning. And I'm just there now, hovering just above the ground a little bit at the best. And he's like, we were already going. What happened? I said, I just saw something. Something was bad. Something was going to come here. And we looked, and there is an, a, another helicopter. And he said, but that's a, not a problem. I said, that helicopter is coming here. And we're still in the air like that. I said, that helicopter is coming here. Something is wrong in that helicopter. He said, I've flown helicopters. How, ooh, how? He's angry with me. And this whole thing started like this. And the guy started heading towards us. I moved somewhere close like this. And listen, from there, I think that's when they started filming, when I, I was back. Can you just show the, the part where they started filming when I was back? I was the one flying that. And that was, that was me already going back. That was the, that helicopter, you, you see that? The engine is already off on the other helicopter. Yes. Do you understand? So, so understand, for me to have that kind of quickness of apprehension, hey, hey. and I'd not seen the helicopter, I just said, we are leaving. Well, I'm, I'm going back. Sunesis. Yes. Quickness in apprehension. Knowing something is wrong. I look at here, I look at, I say something is wrong. Have you ever got into a certain location and you are in front of somebody and that person does something crazy and you start talking to someone and say, I knew he was just crazy. When I, when I got there, I knew something was wrong with that guy. But everyone wasn't seeing it, but I knew it. That's Sunesis you failed to use. You failed to use Sunesis. Sunesis was available. It told you this is wrong. How did you get your money stolen? The guy... The guy, when he started talking to me, I thought it was a good deal. Then two minutes down the line, I could, ha! Ah. Have you noticed that it is after the money is gone that you start retracing your, say, uh-huh. He, he said something and I felt it. Sunesis was like, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Run away from this deal. But you never ran from that deal. Write this. It says, say quickness of apprehension. <laughs> Penetrating consideration. That precedes an action. Understanding, con understanding concepts and differences in things. You are quick to just know stuff. I wish I had people here. Amen. I wish I had people here. X14, 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 X14. Maliga Zazuzi and Garabak Lakoshi took him high. Hiya! X14. Are you there? And I'll read from verse number seven. And there they preach the gospel. Are you here? Yes, sir. They preach the good news. Are you flowing with me, people? Yes. Are you flowing? Yes, sir. I wish you could understand this. Oh, yeah. We have Sophia. Yeah. And after Sophia, Phronesis, practical wisdom. And after practical wisdom, we have Sunesis, critical wisdom. You can say in layman's terms, it is wisdom you want for critical decisions. When you are about to make a business deal, it's not Sophia at operation. Sophia is already working in the background. It's what? It's theoretical wisdom. Phronesis is the decision to do it. Your mindset says, I'm going to go with the deal. But your Sunesis is the one that checks the contract. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying. We came, we're getting this building uh, for one million. One million in, in, in another location. And they sent um, a contract. And he brought it. He said, let's sign it. I said, no, we won't sign it. We can send it to a lawyer, but the lawyer will just say, do you agree with this? All right? Yeah. Then I said, look, let me look at it. And then I realized that our payment schedules, 
that was supposed to be, let's say, four months of paying 200,000, 200,000, 200,000, right? Had been changed and made as if they're not installments, they were rent. So all of a sudden, I'm looking at immediately the way the rent caught me. I just opened the flip like this. I said, rent. Remove it. Then I realized what they were trying to do is, if you, don't, if you get to three months and they decide to chuck you out, they say you were paying rent. Yes. But we could have sat there and people would have read that contract and say, it's all right. But Sunesi says, hey, there is a landmine right there. You need Sunesis for your business. I said you need Sunesis for your business. Sunesis. You see? It says, wherefore, 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 when you know, when you read these things, you know my Sunesis. Are you here? It says you know my what? My sunesis in the knowledge of Christ. My sunesis. My, my, my apprehension. My, the quickness of apprehension. The way I join concepts. On, what did Peter say? Peter said of, of Paul. Yeah. Some things written of brother Paul. Yeah. That are too difficult to understand. Hey. Those, those who mess up scripture and interpretation. Will mess them up to their destruction. What is he talking about? He says those who lack sunesis. Those who lack phronesis, yes. those who lack Sophia, yes. who misinterpret. Yes. What Peter was trying to say is even me, uh-huh. I have problems uh-huh. with the sunesis of understanding Paul. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Why have you been duped in your business? Sunesis. You lack apprehension. Quickness of getting this one is a thief, this one is a thief, this one is lying to me now. Why is your marriage not working? Why did you marry the person you married? Now you are in trouble. Sunesis. Quickness of apprehension. You could have told this is a lie. Yes, I'm just in some big contracts. <laughs> Two weeks later, he was really in big contracts. He's working for a company with contracts. It's like that movie where the guy comes on and he's a bank robber and, and, and this, he comes back after jail, he comes back to his girlfriend and says, hey, I'm back. He said, you lied to me. You said you are a bank. I said, no, bank robber. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't hear the robber part. I work definitely in a bank, but he's a bank robber. <laughs> Do you understand what, what? Sunesis. When you see, it says, when you read of the, my writings, you can understand my sunesis in the knowledge of Christ. My quickness of joining concepts and things around. This is the wisdom that is needed in business. This is the wisdom that is needed when you are signing contracts and you are receiving that apprehension today. Shout sunesis. Quickness of apprehension. You just know what to do at the right time. You know the difference between what they are saying and what is on paper. How to... Uh, you know somebody will be speaking this and saying this on paper. I'm like, ah, uh, 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 what you are saying and what is written here, it's a problem. Sit down. Sunesis. What can I say? When you come here for two months or two weeks... Even one Sunday of coming to Spirit Embassy, you are able to know my sunesis in the knowledge of Christ. If you sit around me for long, two days or one day or one hour, if you sit around with me, sit around me, right? Listen, are you here? Are you here? Anybody here? If you sit around me, let me see your hand raised. Yes. If you sit around me for two minutes, me talking about Christ, you can tell my sunesis. My percipience, my perspicacity, 
my acuity, my profundity, my spiritual sagacity. You can tell the way I calculate this thing. Ah, yeah. There is, there is a certain way I understand Christ. You can actually tell the way you would think is like this. The way this man talks like is like this. I know I do not apologize for my prosperity. I do not. I am blessed. Listen, I am blessed. I am blessed. I said, I am blessed. Turn to your neighbor, say, neighbor. If you sit around me, you will understand my sunnesses because of my father in the Lord. Listen, listen. Sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Say, because of my sunnesses, I'm able. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm able to critically analyze. Because this is an analytical wisdom. It gives you the ability to analyze. The quickness of apprehension. And when you sit around me. You understand my perspicacity. Hey. You will understand my percipience. My acuity. My profundity, my spiritual sagacity. You are able to tell. You are able to tell. You don't need anybody to tell you who you believe in your is. If you listen to me, you know who I am. Are you flowing with this? Who is Sophia here? Do you have Sophia? Do you have Phronesis? Do you have Sunesis? Go away, go out and win. Go to all the countries. Far countries. Go away, far countries. Conga things. Yes, sir. Conga businesses. Yes, sir. Go away today to your house yes, and conga everything. Yes, Have dominion. Yes, yes, Our dear brother here, prophet. Uh-huh. For years he's been in this country. For over 10 years, Prophet, and him and his wife wanted to do something back in their home country of Fiji. Mm. They wanted to do something to do with properties and land, but nothing was working. Yes. That was until they joined Spirit Embassy in 2017. Mm-hmm. Prophet, under your anointing, because of your anointing for, and your grace for properties and for land, they are now the proud owner of 10 acres of land back home in Fiji. Wow. Give Jesus a big head, somebody. And you shall own properties everywhere. No. We shall own properties. Yes. Not only that, sir, because of your viral video that went around and your teaching in here about honoring your biological parents, they have now employed their biological parents to manage that land. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, when you take care of your parents, watch this. You, you, you are now in a certain level of alertness. The moment I ministered that to this brother, what happened? Employed that thing immediately. What is that? Sunesis. When you see Peter and John, they get called beautiful. Says it, I perceive. Does it mean what? Paul says, I perceived. And when he perceived that the many had faith, the word perceived there is the same thing as sunesis. It is from the word sunemai. Which means sunesis, a perception. You can perceive something is about to take place. Right now, as I'm here, I perceive we are about to see millionaires. I said, I perceive. I perceive.
our dear mum here has a great testimony. Since 2010, prophet, she's been fighting a case in Uganda for her money, which was locked up in an account. And her in-laws were fighting to say, that's our money. The lawyer was fighting, fighting, fighting. No result, prophet. Until she brought her documents in, into the House of Spirit Embassy. Wow. Prophet, she held up the documents. You located the documents. You laid your hands on the documents. She went home that day. She contacted the lawyer, said, contact the bank. Some things took place. He contacted the bank. The bank agreed it's your money. Done deal. She's got the money. It's thousands and thousands of pounds. Done, prophet. Just like that. Come on, somebody. Give Jesus a big hand, somebody. Whosoever owes you money is coming back. We release it to you now. Lega Zuzu Azuta Yalega. Enkra Daligu Hose. Prophet, last year, June, our dear sister was unfortunately fired from her job. And it was a part-time job. She was getting working tax credits as well. So, of course, they cancelled the working tax credits. No more working tax credits. She got another job and carried on with life and forgot all about the working tax credits. But then you released a word in here, man of God. You said that your, all your finances will be released. Miracle money to everyone's account. You'd said it, prophet. Friday gone. She got a notice. All working tax credits since last June paid back. Wow. No, That's a few change. Not only that, Prophet, she was late with her rent. On the same Friday, she received her working tax credit. She rang the landlord and said, oh, by the way, I know I'm late with my rent. The landlord said, what are you talking about? Your rent's paid. Something is happening to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a big hand, somebody. <laughs> prophet our dear sister here started coming to this church in january with her family when they started coming to this church they were actually of the sikh religion Whoa. they are now all christians yeah. give jesus a big hand somebody yeah. prophet they were totally blown away by the miracles the demonstration of power the prophecy that takes place in this house Wow. Prophet, you located her. You prophesied to her. Oh. Yes. You told her a son's name and that her son was suffering with drink problems, smoking, all of these things. Wow. And you said it ends now. Uh -uh. Prophet, it ended that exact day. He hasn't smoked since. He hasn't drank since. 12 years he was drinking and smoking, Prophet. He's completely free. Come on, somebody! Is there anybody with a problem of hearing? Maybe you have a problem of hearing. You have a problem of hearing, maybe one ear, maybe, I don't know. Come, come, come quickly. You are Jesus. You are great. You are royalty. You reign in all the earth. You are mighty. Our oh, sister here, 20 years with an ear problem. In the right ear, as you prayed for her, prophet, it just went bang. That's it. Now she can hear clearly, 100%. Hear Jesus, I feel oh. There's no mountain that can stand your name. You are Jesus. You are free. You are royalty. You reign in all the earth. Testimony, there's a testimony right here, Prophet. Yes. Since birth, right here, he has had problems. She was vibrating under the anointing. Everyone could see under the power. As she was vibrating, it was going ba 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 ba. Now it's perfect hearing. 
Now it's perfect. Testimony. Everywhere. Testimony. Everywhere. Testimony. Prophet, Sophia is working right here, since birth again, right here. Since birth. Not only hearing problems, but pain, Prophet. Wow. So you've just prayed for her now, no more pain, no more hearing problem. Every day. How many years? Ten years. Yes, I feel like uh, with ears with where? Yes. Be thou made whole in the name of Jesus. Lazoka. Prophet, instant miracle, instant miracle. Prophet, since birth, electric, electric pulses in her ears gone now, gone. Prophet, after your prayer, totally gone. Yes, they are I am come with. I do, I do. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I got it. I receive. Ah, I receive it. I receive it. Yes, sir. Every day testimony. Prophet, you've just demonstrated that this man is healed, but 25 years, what? he got he got a slap on the ear, Prophet, and he couldn't hear because of that. 25 slap. years. Now he's healed, Prophet. Now he's healed. Every Thank you, Jesus. Do we have anybody with a sense of smell, a problem with a sense of smell? You don't taste food well, come quickly if you are there. Just come queue up there. If you have a sense of smell, problem with your sense of smell, your nostrils can smell things well, just go in there, in the queue there. Go to the queue there. There's a miracle right here. For three years, problem with smelling, problem with tasting food. Only yesterday they had to add salt, chili, salt, chili, so they can try and get something but nothing. Right now, after you prayed for him, Prophet, he can smell. Yeah, I can smell it, yeah. And, and he can taste the chocolate. Eating chocolate for the first time in three years. Huh? For the what? For the first time in three years after First my time in three years. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? I had a serious car accident. Serious car accident where? In Zimbabwe. Wow. And it affected everything. It affected everything, yeah. What? So now it's it's the smell you are now testing this. I'm now testing the chocolate for the first time. Wow. <laughs> wow. So what you can do, right? What you can do, you see? Go and uh, what's this? Money back. Go and have a very good lunch. Thank you. Thank you. When Jesus says yes, Thank nobody you. can you. say no. Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus. Sense of smell. Can I have something to eat? Something somebody can test? Because she has a problem with test. Chocolate here. We love chocolate. <laughs> Give her some chocolate. She ate since what? Since 2010. That's almost nine years. Nine years, sir. Now she can smell it. You can. Well, isn't he lovely? Just 
And she had chocolate. How was the chocolate? Why? She said something. It's lovely to smell different perfumes because I usually wear just posture. just wear and then yeah. hope it's smelling good. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Even uh, the chocolate is tasting really nice. <laughs> oh. The miracle here. Two years, no sense of smell. Two years. Two years. How is it? Two years. Sweet. Oh, smells sweet, sweet, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that joy. Look at that joy. Come on, somebody. Every day. Come on, somebody. Every day. Come on, somebody. Every day. Prophet, miracle here. Since childhood, no sense of smell, yes. Prophet. Yes. No sense of smell. Yeah, I guess about it. Yeah, I guess about it. Yeah. Look at yeah. handsome guy like this. Can't Prophet, miracle right here. 16 years, hard hearing, both ears. Now she can hear absolutely clear. Give Jesus a big hand, somebody. Is it your first time here? First time. First time here. Nice to meet you. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Is there anointing oil? Is there anointing oil? Open your hands like, it's like in the realm of the spirit, I saw the Lord pouring anointing over your hands like this. It's like I saw anointing like this. Wait. And it's like, this is your first time here. It's first time here. Yeah. But I don't know why, in the realm of the spirit, I saw you in a different church. Wait. In a place like Romania. Yes. Where are you from? In Romania. You're from Romania? Yes. Okay, wait. And in this church, I saw like a river. Yes, I, uh, my church from Romania is named River of Life. The name of the church is River of Life. Yeah. Can I prophesy? And it's like in the realm of the spirit. Just walk to me. One, two, three. Wait. I don't know why, but how many siblings do you have? What? How many siblings do you have, brothers and sisters? Uh, three brothers. You have three brothers. Yeah. Wait. And including you, it's four. Yes, four. Okay, wait. But I saw like, in the realm of the spirit, I saw you closer to, between you and your parents. There's like problems between them. Yes. It's true. Problem, yeah. Is it true? It's true. But I saw you closer to your mom. Yes, very true. It's true. It's true, very true. Can I prophesy? <laughs> Any issue in your life, I'm fixing it now. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hubert Angel Ministerial Association For mentorship, teaching and impartation for those in ministry or those who have a calling register at www.uama.co for the Good News Church, call the number on the screen for more information. Thank you, our partners and friends, for making it possible to bring this message to you. Those wishing to partner with Hubert Angel, please visit www.hubertangel.org. Your Miracle TV, networking the world with the good news.